Good afternoon guys and welcome back. So by the title of this video you can kind of share what the video is going to be about. Why do people hate Jeeps so much? But just before we get that started, drop a comment below. I want to know what you guys think, why you guys think people hate Jeeps so much. Now I'm not sure if it's just an, um, an Australian thing, it might be a worldwide thing. Um, I did put up two posts on a four-wheel drive page called Aussie four-wheel drive Trident to see what their views about it would be and also a Jeep page and also on Instagram to kind of get like a different perspective on what people think and what people opinions on. I had over 72 comments on the Trident page and 65 on the Jeep page and probably 15 different comments on Instagram which is awesome. So the Trident page, um, I thought I was actually going to get a lot more hate um, uh, then I did, a few people call me a troll and that sort of stuff, which um, you get, but I just wanted to get people's opinions, and that's pretty much it. Um, so, there's probably 80% of the people absolutely hated them, um, saying they are rubbish, just empty every single pocket, had nothing but problems, heard nothing but problems. A lot of the comments say, I have heard a lot of problems, not I have had a lot of problems. Um, and one of the comments I had on Instagram was that, People are like sheep. They like to be fixated on something and hate on something as much as possible. Um, so in Australia, um, we've got a lot of awesome four-wheel driving tracks. Um, and one of the biggest um, four-wheel drive YouTuber, YouTube channels here, they do some awesome tracks all around Australia. Um, if you guys haven't checked them out, they are four-wheel drive action. Um, and they're mostly like patrols, um, D-Maxes, Hiluxes, kind of those common four-wheel drives um, in Australia. And I actually posted a comment, I said, why have I never seen a Jeep uh, like join in your um, your group or your activities? And people said they wouldn't make it off the lot, um, they wouldn't even make it through the first um, trail or the obstacle, they are pretty much pieces of shit, um, they break too easily, they wouldn't keep up with these proper forward drives. Um, and it got me thinking, and also over the last couple of weeks, I don't know if it's, it's it seems to be just when I bought my JK, I didn't really get this when I had my TJ, but when I've, since I've had my JK, I've actually had people come up to me um, at the gas station and say, I had one guy in a Hilux come up to me and said, are you serious, mate? Why would you buy a Jeep? He said, lucky they're good for the environment. I said, what do you mean, mate? He said, yeah, they're great for the environment. They break down in the bush. I said, fuck. I said, come on, mate, are you serious? And he's like, yeah, they're rubbish. They break down a lot. I said, have you ever owned one before? He said, why would I own a Jeep? I said, well... You seem to know a lot about them. You said you've obviously had a few bad experiences. No, I've never owned one. Why would I own such a crappy car? I need a proper four-wheel drive. I said, like your Hilux. He's like, I don't mind a Hilux. I've owned a Hilux before. I don't. I think they're pretty good four-wheel drives. He said, yeah. I said, well, you don't even have a solid front axle. How much articulation do you get in the front end when you're going off? Oh, that's not the point. Uh, I said, whatever, mate. And even people at work, um, they've come up to me and said, why did you buy another Jeep? Um, don't they break down a lot? They're so unreliable. I said, mate, have you ever owned a Jeep before? Oh, nah. Oh, come on. What is wrong with people? But anyway, 72 comments on this page. Um, a lot of people are saying this comment says because they don't have enough power. Um, mates, folks, three months out of the warranty, uh, have to spend 40k on a motor. Don't see how someone could spend 40k on a motor unless you're going like a V8 swap, like a Hemi swap. Um, someone should have swapped it up for a 10k LS. Um, someone, see, 80% of the comments were bagging them out, saying they they are garbage. They've got nothing but problems. Empty every single pocket. Um, why waste your money? Just buy, da da da, whatever. And then the other 20% saying they've actually got a a Jeep, and they are a better four wheel drive than a Trident. They use that for four wheel drive use. Um, the harder trails. Um, and those people said that the Jeep they own is, off the lot, is a far better four-wheel drive and more capable um, than any other four-wheel drive out on the market. Which, if you buy a Rubicon, you, well, even my Sport. Here, it's the Sway Bar Disconnect, Axle Lock. Um, like, it's a Sport, but I think it's a Adventure Edition or something like that, so it's got the Axle Lock and Sway Bar Disconnect. Out of the factory, they are the most capable four-wheel drive without doing anything to them. Um... So those 20% of people, they own a Jeep and a Trident. A Trident, they said they just need the extra room for uh, work purposes, whatever it might be. Um, and then a, tri a Jeep is a hardcore four-wheel driver. 
But 80%, a lot of them are saying they're too expensive, they are crap, they break down a lot, there's no point in owning one, they are ugly. Who's ever caught a Jeep ugly? They, they're so much better looking. I mean, there's a Ford Ranger sitting over there, it's not a bad looking truck. Um, there's a Hilux sitting over there, there's a Land Cruiser in front of me. I think there's something else behind me again. And they're all good looking trucks, I'm not going to bag them out. But every manufacturer, no matter what it is, has their own problems. Um... The only problems I've had in my Jeeps is on my TJ I had to replace the front axle because um, the old owner before I bought it actually bent it, like bent the housing. So I picked up a second hand one for 100 bucks, swapped it in, painted it up and we're good to go. It was a high opinion, uh, Dana 30 and just swapped it in, no issues. So far so good with my JK um, and I've got no complaints. Um, but I was talking to my neighbour and um, he's from Italy um, and he said... Uh, when someone says they don't say they're going to go buy four-wheel drive, they're saying I want to go buy a Jeep because they use Jeep as a reference to a four-wheel drive. So it's, it, it kind of depends where you are in the world. Um, and on the Jeep page, a lot of people said, do people hate Jeeps? Um, and they said in their, wherever they're from, um, in America, Jeeps are just the best four-wheel drives. Like, I, I don't know if like there's less options in those states or in America. But in Australia, you've got the Land Cruiser, Land Rover, um, Mazda, BT50, um, Ford Couriers, um, Ford Rangers, Hiluxes. you got so many range of things. Um, but there seems to be something, I don't know if it's just Australia-based or something in the world, that people don't like Jeeps for some reason. And there's a few comments on Instagram that I think I probably agree with. Um, and I think we're going to stick with, and there might be the consensus for today, that people have to hate something. Um, I used to be hardcore into um, Hondas, and I actually had a girl come up to me in the ATM and said, you're never going to get a girlfriend owning a Honda, mate. Are you serious? Your boyfriend's driving a Toyota Starlet with, like, a massive exhaust, and it's like a slow-ass crotch rocket. Hondas have a really good name for reliability, you can make good power, but it's just that thing, everybody has to hate something for some reason. And maybe Jeep's just that thing that people have to hate on. I'm sure people have had problems. They're not perfect by any means, but no, but um, Jeeps aren't perfect by any means. Um, they all have their small issues, whatever it might be. But so do, so do other car manufacturers as well. And it's just one of those things. I'm not saying Jeeps are unbreakable, um, but... I prefer owning a Jeep and being part of the Jeep community and doing all the fun Jeep stuff like the Easter Jeep Safari, Go Topless Day, all the Jeep um, events on the Sunshine Coast here with um, Jeep Freaks Queensland. And I've never seen um, as much love and appreciation for just like the Jeep Wave. Um, I've never seen that with another like another car manufacturer. And there's just something about owning a Jeep and being part of the community. Like, I don't know if those people don't like it. Um, I took my sister's Hilux for a drive to go get some groceries. And another Hilux owner got out of his Hilux, which was exactly the same as my sister's one, and said, my Hilux can smash you off-road, mate. I said, what do you mean? Do the same car. Oh, your one's not even dirty. Yeah, well, she cleans it. What's your point? Oh, that thing won't even go off-road. But it's the same as yours. Like, what the hell? Like, you never get that with a Jeep owner. Another Jeep owner will try and make friends with you so you guys can go off-road together and um, go on adventures together and get to know each other and build that Jeep community. I don't know. It's weird. But I think people just have to follow something. One person had a problem with theirs. He made a video about it. Um, but I love to change people's minds about it. Um, I wouldn't mind getting on these, maybe going out on a few trips with these bigger... Australian YouTubers and showing them what um, owning a Jeep is actually about and maybe changing a few people's minds about it around Australia Maybe one day we'll see what happens um, But let me know what you guys think in the comments below um, Why you think people hate it or if it's different in your part of the world um, But as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time